Hello everyone, it's Mary Poppins here. I'm so excited that you're going to be joining me for my Practically Perfect party online very soon. Now I know that you're going to be joining me from different houses, different homes, maybe sometimes even different places in the world at the same time in the same party. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we could play together with the same things and perhaps prepare something beforehand, which is why I have sent the Practically Perfect Party Printable to the grown-ups with some ideas on it for you to create something before the party starts. There are two ideas that I'm going to show you how to make. The first is this Practically Perfect Parasol full of sweeties and candy. Now, parasol, if you don't understand that word, means against the sun or a sun shade. So these are used as a sun umbrella rather than a rain umbrella, which most umbrellas are used for. My parrot head one certainly is. Now then, in this video, however, I'm going to show you how to make the practically perfect kite. This kite even has a handle so that you can swing it along and fly it in the air while we're singing, let's go fly a kite. What do you think of that? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Spitzpot. So, we're going to start to make our practically perfect kite. Now, another thing that you're going to need is a pencil. Not everybody is going to have a pencil with a picture of themselves on it, but I like to have one because it's practically perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my kite over my piece of card and then I'm going to use my sharp pencil and I'm going to draw all over my line. You can use a ruler if you like. I'm going to peep underneath to see how it looks. And there's a very fine line scored into here. So if you can press quite hard, then you'll be able to get a nice impression underneath. And you press nice and hard. That's it. And all along, press nice and firmly. You might need a grown-up to help you with this bit because it's a little bit tricky. And when you've gone all the way round, you'll have a very fine line that you can use as your cutting out point. Now I'm not going to show you how to cut out because you can either do it or you can't. And if you can't, then you'll need a grown-up to help you. So once you've done that, you'll have a perfect kite shape. And now it's time to use your ribbon. I've very luckily got some happy birthday ribbon here, but you can have whatever you like. So I'm going to measure across here and cut that length. And then I'm going to do the same with all the different lengths. That's the front. This is the bit that we're going to see on the front of our kite. There we are. Snip, snip, snip. And I'm very lucky to have one of these super sticky rollers. So I'm going to go stick, stick, just a little trail down the centre. There we are. And now my ribbon can stick straight onto it. If you haven't got one of these um, whizzy little rollers, you can use a glue stick. And I would suggest that you glue the ribbon and not the card, because these are quite wide, aren't they? So you end up getting sticky blobs all over the place. That's not such a fun thing. So if you glue the back of the ribbon and then stick it on, and we'll do the same with the other one. This was a magic invention, this thing. I'm very glad somebody thought of it. You might have one if you like doing crafting anyway. They're ever so handy. There we are. Doesn't that look pretty? The dark blue and white against the blue. You can use whatever you've got at home. And I think the point of this is 
that we are going to be using whatever we've got because at the moment we can't really get out and go to crafty shops, can we? We have to make do with what we've got. And so whatever you've got at home, you can use. You could even cut up little strips from magazines and make them into ribbons, can't you? There we are. Or comics. Maybe you can cut up comics. Although some of you wouldn't like to do that, and I can understand why. Um, we're going to do the same. Uh, we're going to cut out the same amount of ribbon for the back, but we'll use that later. Um, I shall come back to you when we've done that bit. So now I've cut another length here and I've cut another length for here and I've got my tail already attached. Because my writing, my ribbon has got writing on that side, I've made sure that it's facing the front of my kite there. If, you're, if you've got normal ribbon, of course, it doesn't matter which way up it goes. So then we're going to take our straw that I talked about. And if, it, if you've got a bendy straw, then that's exactly what you want to do with it. Bend it over. If you don't have a bendy straw and you've got some paper straws at home, you can absolutely fold it over here and use it in the same way. It just so happens that the, this is a good use for the old plastic straws that we may have hanging around our houses. So, I'm going to take some normal sticky tape and I'm going to place my straw with a bendy bit facing to the bottom of my, straw, uh, of my kite and it's going to be placed with the bend just above the two points here. So I'll pop it across, making sure it stands up straight because we really do need it to be a nice standing up handle, so to speak. Put a couple of pieces over to make it really secure. And then we use our final piece to cover it over so it looks pretty from the back as well. Now I'm using ribbon, but you don't have to. If you have glitter right, glitter glue, not, not, not so much glue actually, glitter pens or sequins or stickers or whatever it is that you like to use. You might even have some Mary Poppins stickers at home. Um, you can use whatever you like to decorate your kite, it's your kite and the important thing here is that the only limit is your imagination. Our imaginations are so important aren't they? They take us to places that we can't go sometimes in our own daily lives and I think at the moment when we're all having to stay at home our imaginations are more important than ever. So there we have it. There is, our, I've already trimmed this this edge, there's a little bit of trimming it more to do there. Um, but that's what our kite looks like before it has its special bows on. Of course we have to have a bow don't we on our um, on our kite otherwise it wouldn't look quite, quite, quite right at all. So what I've done here, if you can have a look here, is I've got a normal piece of tissue paper and I folded it over a bit like a concertina, a bit of it like a, a Z in fact. I folded it over and I've used my magic tape to measure about five centimetres. Can you see that? And actually the size of this tape here from here to here is exactly what I need. I'm going to snip down to about there so I'm going to hold my thumb there. And then I'm going to get my scissors. This is pretty tricky, so it might be something that you need a grown-up to help with. Snip through here. All the folded bits, that's what we need to snip through. I think that's it, pretty much that. And then we're going to cut across, now that I've snipped down. And I've got all these little pieces. Oh, I didn't, I didn't snip quite far enough with that one all these pieces of tissue it doesn't matter how many pieces there are together really maybe maybe a few at a time something like that and then you get your little little oblong of tissue and you just give it a twist in the middle it's very simple and there you are a perfect little bow so all we have to do is make some more bows and I might magically speedily do it you should, I shouldn't really be using my magic. I should be showing you how to do it in full time. But do you know what? I think we all need a little bit of magic in our lives. So.
Perhaps we'll magically go fast with this bit. There we are, a practically perfect kite, all ready to fly. I hope you're going to join in with me when we sing Let's Go Fly a Kite with your beautiful, perfect kite. Well done. Now that we've made our practically perfect kites together, I'm going to pop into a new video to show you how to do a practically perfect parasol. I'll see you there. Spit spot.